Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? Well, this your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here could be on two future Hall of Famers. We have Shakur Stevenson, the undefeated two-division world champion. We all know he's one of them hottest stars out of Newark, New Jersey. Then we have Javante Tank Davis, that killer that got rid of Baltimore, the undefeated three-division world champion. We all know Tank is the hottest young star in the game right now today, and he's trying to make his way to be the face of boxing. Now, if you've been living up on the rock, then you probably haven't heard that Javante Tank Davis is being pursued by everybody in the fight game from 130 to probably 147. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody wanted a piece of Javante Tank Davis. But, you know, Shakur Stevens came out and said some things about Tank and things of that nature. They've been going back and forth. But Tank wanted to let Shakur Stevens know, bro, I ain't ducking no smoke. I ain't ducking no action. You can get it. Devin can get it. Um, Tia Fimo can get it. Everybody can get it. And you better be careful because my power is crazy and I knock them dimples up off your face. You understand what I'm saying? That's what Javante Tank Davis would tell uh, Shakur Stevenson, bro, that he would knock them dimples up off his face with the power that he carry in the left and the right hand. You feel me? Tank won't smoke with everybody. He's not ducking nothing. But you can only fight one person at a time. And Tank is in control of his destiny. Cats need to quit hating on him. Let's wait to see what he want to do next. But he do want all the smoke. Now, when it comes to Shakur Steves, and we all know this is a bad, bad man from Newark, New Jersey. Shakur in his third division at 135. Looking to be a three-division world champion. Uh, won't smoke with Devin Haney. Won't smoke with Javante Tank Davis. Won't smoke with all the top shotters. You know what I'm saying? Shakur say he ain't ducking nothing. He ain't running from nobody. And he want all the action, bro. He say he want to be a world champion in three different divisions. We all know Devin hold all the titles. But Shakur said out of his mouth plenty of times that him and Tank would be the biggest fight in boxing one day. And that's his, that's his big, big money fight, if you ask him. That's the fight that he feel like that's going to put him over the top. That's the fight that he want. You know, he wanted now. He'll take it now. But he wanted when he really get all his recognition because he feel like that's the mega fight. Um, even over Devin Haney and, and everybody else. He feel like Tank is his mega fight. The Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao, the Earl Spencer Terrence Crawford. He feel like that's his mega fight that's going to you know, solidify him in the Hall of Fame. Now, when it comes to Javante Tank Davis, you know, with Tank being in first place, and a lot of people be mad at Tank because they won't take the call out Shakur Stevenson. They won't take the call out Devin Haney. They won't take the call out Lomachenko. And what Tank is saying is I don't have to call out nobody because I'm number one. Right? When you're number one, everybody wants you. You don't have to call out nobody. That's just how the game go. Because if I call out this person, they're going to say I'm ducking that person. If I call out him, they're going to say I'm ducking him. So i just rather, you know, take my career one fight at a time. Um, he just stopped Ryan Garcia in the seventh round with a beautiful body shot. And now what Tank's saying is I'm going to relax. Um, I'm going to go back to the drawing board. I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna sit down with my team, and we are gonna make the the best you know choice that's possible out there. That's for me. A lot of people feel like it's Devin Haney. If Devin Haney get past Lomachenko, a lot of people feel like it's Shakur Stevenson, or uh, otherwise, right? But it's up to Javante Tank Davis to say who he want to fight, when he want to fight, and people gotta respect that, bro. They gotta respect it. I think Shakur Stevenson know that Tank ain't afraid of nothing. He ain't ducking nothing. He said it multiple times. You know what I'm saying? Shakur understand the game. He understand that Javante Tank Davis put himself in a great fucking position to fight who he want to fight at 28 years of age. You know what I mean? By knocking people out, showing up and showing out for the fans. By knocking people out, showing up and showing out for the fans. And Tank had something that you can't teach, bro. He had that it factor, that power. He got that aura about himself. And everybody in boxing want it. Everybody want it. Because everybody want to be a star. Everybody want to make big money. Everybody want to be recognized as that guy. And everybody want to be looked at as a future Hall of Famer or have the potential to be a Hall of Famer because they put the hard work in and things of that nature. Now, Shakur Stevenson, we all know he's a silver medalist, right? Like I said, two-division world champion. So his accolades and, 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 you know, his name speak for itself. Cool Russell made to where nobody can doubt him. But he want all the smoke with all the big top shotters. And he going to run his mouth like he's supposed to. I'm not mad at him or nothing like that. But we do know that he's up on a Bob Earn at the moment. And, you know, when you're up on the top ranking up on a Bob Earn, um, it's kind of hard to get Bob. I ain't going to say to work with other promotion companies because he can. 
but to work with other stars of the promotion company because Bob Earn feel like these stars be wanting too much money and that they not go, you know, generate back what he's giving out. You know, Bob is a smart businessman. He's a lawyer, so he's not going to waste his money. He don't give a damn how good the fight is. If he feel like he's not going to get a return back on his investment, Bob Earn going to say, wait a minute, we need to go find some people that want to endorse the fights, some people that can, you know, um, put a whole lot of money up that y'all looking for because I'm not coming out of my pocket to take a loss for nobody. You feel me? Bob ain't taking a loss for nobody. He don't give a damn who you are, what you done in the sport, how, how much you did, or nothing. If you feel like you ain't going to get no money back, He's not doing it, bro. And I don't blame him in this day and, and, and you know, this climate of, of pay-per-views and things of that nature. But Javante Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson, it has to happen. I say it has to happen. Because both of these dudes, to me, are the top shotters at the division. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's going to put on for boxing, bro. It's going to put on for boxing. And these are the fights Tank is going to have to take on, you know, when you say you're the face of boxing and things of that nature. But don't get me wrong. I, I understand when people say, wherever you go, you sell out. I got to continue to make that uh, a driving point for Javante Tank Davis. You feel me? Tank is my guy and I ride for him. But these are the fights people are going to want to see. You know what I mean? And they should happen. You know, they should happen. It's just not going to happen now. I don't believe so. I just think down the line, when Shakur get away from Bob Irm, I think it'll take place then. You feel me? I think it'll take place then. But Tank on all the smoke, man. Tank want all the smoke. I know a lot of y'all cats going to be like, man, Money Brown, you capping for Tank, man. That dude don't want to fight nobody, man. That dude want to fight Bums. That dude talking about fighting Pitbull Cruz for the second time, this, that, and third. Y'all don't know what Tank going to do. Tank is on 90-day house arrest, man. 90-day house arrest in Baltimore. You feel me? That's what Tank fighting right now. And that's what he's trying to get over, that obstacle. And then once that's done with, and he he's, can get back in the gym, can sit down and talk about who he going to fight next, then we'll worry about his next opponent, bro. You feel me? But he wants y'all to know, man, he ain't scared of no Shakur Stevenson, no Devin Haney, or none of these dudes, man. None of them. Y'all got to understand, Tank is the OG of these dudes, man. Tank 28. They 25, 24, 23, 26. You know what I'm saying? Tank the big 2-8, man. Go be the big 2-9, bro. So he the OG of them, bro. So, of course, he going to look at them like little brothers and, and, and not look man them, but let them know at the same time, I'm the big dog, boy. I'm the big dog. I'm the big gorilla, boy. Yeah, I just sold 1.4 mil, boy. Quit playing, boy. I just sold out the MGM, boy. Brought everybody out, boy. You feel me? From basketball players to football players to boxers to hockey stars to movie stars. You feel me? Stop playing with that dude, man, to rappers. That boy brought everybody out. Along with Ryan Garcia. I ain't going to take Ryan credit away. But Tank, you know what I'm saying? He just, he playing a big brother role, man. He playing a big dog role because he earned it. A lot of people mad at it, but it is what it is. He earned that position, dog. He earned that position. So when Tank get to them, he will get to them. I know a lot of y'all don't like the sound of that, but it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Just keep your horse watered, fed, bred, and they better be ready once that contract come. Because that's my whole thing. Everybody said they want the fight, but are you willing to do what you got to do to get the fight? That's going to be the question. You know what I mean? Are y'all willing to do what y'all got to do to get the fight like Ryan Garcia? I heard a lot of fans already talking about, oh, man, these dudes ain't going to do what Ryan did, man. Tank can't make them do that, man. Tank can't make them do this. Tank ain't got no belts. Tank don't do this. Tank, listen, Tank is the A-side. Big dog shit. No belts. And he's the big dog. Undefeated. 1.4. You dig what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, he earned his position, dog. He earned it. You know? And negotiations is a motherfucker, bro. You got to sit down at the table. You got to negotiate. You got to make things, you know, um, likable for a fight to get inside that ring. So they all won't tank, you know, or y'all willing to do what Ryan Garcia did. You know what I mean? Or y'all willing to do what y'all got to do to get the big boy fight. And that's what it's going to come down to, like I said, at the end of the day, man. But I want to see these fights. I want to see Shakur versus Tank. I think it's going to be one hell of a fight. I get Shakur a chance against anybody. I got Tank beating everybody. You know what I'm saying? But these are the fights that we need in boxing, you know, to keep boxing afloat. And, to, you know, to keep things buzzing like it is. You know what I mean? But, like I said, Tank is fighting 90 days of house arrest. That's what he's getting over right now. And, uh, you know, when the time comes, I think Tank goes send everybody a contract. And I think Tank will get everybody up out of there. Straight like that. But Shakur Stevenson ain't ducking no smoke neither. I fuck with him heavy. And uh, he will be a world champion at 135. I believe that. Whole Hartley. Three division world champion. But Tank is that guy right now. 
and they got to bow down to the king. 